Hello friends, once again welcome back to Alchemy Academy Platforms. So today in this video I'll discuss about what are the different types of petroleum products that are being derived from the petroleum that is the crude oil. So as you know that oil and gas sector is a very vast sector. You might get surprised to know that around 6000 products are being derived from the crude oil that is the petroleum based product 6000 products and these products are included from the daily use products to the different types of plastics that we use even in the medicines also in the detergent also as well the the basic uh, fuel that we use in the you know the motor vehicle even in the solar panels those uh, products that we, that we use are derived from the petroleum only petroleum derived products only so i'll tell you about the you know flow sheet or that is flow chart how and what are the products that are being basically derived from the crude oil that is petroleum based product so i'll tell you there are two things first is oil and the gas sector these two are different industry industry so basically oil and gas how do we get we get it from the exploration that is there is a drilling uh, by drilling process we generate crude wells so crude wells from the crude wells or uh, we generate or uh, we uh, drill to get the natural gas also so basically two products that we get first is natural gas first is natural gas that is here i, I have kept it here and the second one is second one is that crude oil so this is second second one so crude oil we get so what do we do with these two so as uh, you know that these crudes are basically in india uh, be imported you know basically from the middle east countries so there are different types of crudes based on the you know sulfur content based on the density api all those things are taking into consideration different types of crudes are there and be all project different types of crudes and after that we blend it and process into the core refinery basically cdos in it so different types of uh, if i talk with respect to the crude then there are arab high crudes are there then arab light crudes are there that is called light crudes then murban crude is there then mumbai in india mumbai high crudes are there so different types of crudes are there so what happens with that crude this crude is basically processed into the well refinery it goes into the refinery now from refinery we get direct different types of products and that is what we have mentioned direct in products from the refinery we get first is here you'll see it you'll see it here first is lpg so lpg we get we use it into the household then motor spirit that we use in the vehicles as you know that motor speed basically is called a gasoline or petrol in common language we see it as a petrol so this is basically petrol that we use in the vehicles then comes the aviation aviation turbine fuel so that is we use in the aeroplanes jet fuels basically call it as a jet fuel then high speed diesel diesel we use in the train engine then irrigation purpose different types of uses even motor vehicles we use diesel so then comes the naphtha naphtha is uh, basically the one of the major product that uh, from that we derive different types of petrochemical products this is something that is processed in the petrochemical complex there are two things one is refinery other is petrochemical complex so when we talk uh, when i talk with respect to the uh, petrochemical uh, you know petro uh, uh, petroleum derived the basically petrochemical complex uh, then we process this naphtha or natural gas c1 c2 components and we make different useful products from the coke also petroleum this coke basically this is not the natural coke uh, this is basically petroleum coke that we get from the refinery this is basically petroleum coke now we get naphtha propane sulfur fuel and kerosene so these are the some major products that we directly get from the refinery so you got to know about what are the different products that is basically we get from the crude uh, we get from the crude uh, after processing into the refinery these are the some products 
now here comes the petrochemical complex now this naphtha plays a very very major important role this naphtha goes into the petrochemical complex there are different types of numerous uh, compounds that are being derived from the naphtha so some of uh, some of them i have mentioned it here you see it see it here we derive propylene from naphtha ethylene from naphtha butadiene from naphtha benzene from naphtha butadiene this is basically same uh, butadiene from the naphtha kept it to twice i guess so so from naphtha we also get a uh, parazaline okay i'll come to you one by one so from uh, after getting these uh, these you'll see from ethylene we get derived ethylene oxide mtb then ethylene dichloride vinyl mon chloride monomer then butene one ldpe so these are some products that we get from the ethylene and ethylene we get from the naphtha or you can say ethene or propane that we get from the natural gas we get from that we can generate ethene propane from ethene propane we get ethylene so there are two sources of getting ethylene one from air and one from air from naphtha or ethylene ethylene these are the other products that we derive it from now comes to the petrochemical complex we'll see it here you can see it here uh, see there are uh, one more thing for getting vinyl chloride monomer or ethylene dichloride there is a salt from salt we can get chlorine or caustic now this chlorine is basically used here with this uh, used here with ethylene and we get these two monomer from vinyl chloride monomer we get polyvinyl chloride basically this is pvc pvc as you have you might have heard you must have heard about pvc pipe pipes and all so this is what we get pvc now when we will see a pvc pipe in household for the drink, uh, for you know uh, for the drinking water supply or any other types of pipes you will get to know that yes this is derived from the petroleum product that we get naphtha from naphtha then ethylene ethylene from ethylene we get these monomers from monomers we get pvc now coming to the ethylene uh, dioxide you see it here there are three uh you know different derivative we derive from ethylene di uh, ethylene oxide first is diethylene glycol then monoethylene uh, glycol then triethylene glycol now from monoethylene glycol we get uh, you know different products be generated from monoethylene gl glycol so if you see it move from monoethylene glycol you'll see it here we get polyester filament yarn or you will see it here from polyester simple fiber kind of that i'll come to the textile industry later before that let me finish to the uh, regarding the points which i have mentioned it earlier so you see it here now you see butene one from that we generate hhdp or ldp so as you know that where do we use this hhdp this is basically all the hhdp or ldp you basically call this kind of plastics only so we use it shampoo bottle in daily use where shampoo bottles then we use it in toys grocery bag we use in toys grocery bags grocery bags so this is then lldp general purpose of packaging we use so these are some direct in products now you will get surprised we see the polythene bags or shampoo bottles something we will not get to know from where we are getting but basically we are getting from the petroleum industry so whenever you see, see now that shampoo bottle plus key or board even switch board electrical board chair different types of plastics that are being used for the manufacturing of vehicle also they we generate it from the crude oil only so when i say six approximately six thousand petroleum products are being derived so approximately there are huge number huge number of things would be there from which Uh, which can be produced from the petroleum dried products now here comes the uh, we'll talk about the linear alkyl benzene so linear alkyl benzene is something that is basically used in the manufacture of one of the major ingredient in the manufacture of determined detergent where manu facture of detergent so how we get the lab so lab two things are required first is basically the alkylation product of 
benzene and normal paraffins so normal paraffins be get it from the kerosene so kerosene we can generate normal paraffins from normal paraffins and then benzene this there is a linear alkylation alkylation happens between these two we get lab linear alkyl, alkyl benzene that is being used for the production of the detergent now butadiene used for the polybutadiene rubber basically production of the rubber components we get derived from the butadiene so whenever you say rubber or a detergent again coming to the soap and all those are also derived from the petroleum products only so as of now i have told you what are the major things that be produced from the petroleum now coming to the i'll tell you one major, major thing basically uh, with regard to uh, you know textile industry you know about uh, textile industry means our apparel clothing that are being produced are basically 60% of you know the pol clothing be used approximately polyester and that polyester is basically derived from again from the petroleum industry so you will see it here from naphtha we can make parazaline and from parazaline we can make a pta purified triphthalic acid so from this is pta now from this we can uh, you know uh, polyethylene triphthalate so this and monoethylene glycol can be used to make this pet and you know pet almost you have to drinking bottles have you seen drinking water bottles and that will be written pet numbering would be there on that so whenever you see a drinking water you get to know that polyethylene triphthalate pet pet bottles are basically derived from the petroleum products only so again you commit here now here monoethylene ethyl glycolim is there so this is important raw material for polyester and polyethylene so basically polyethylene or polyester is a very raw material so here you see polyester filament here so from monoethylene glycol or acetic acid you combine you uh, from mono naphtha and then acetic acid will get parazaline kind of then but from parazaline we can create purified triphthalic acid pta now pta monoethylene glycol are being used for the poly making a polyester filament yarn so you see it here from monoethylene glycol this pta pet can be formed then polyester chips can be formed then from again polyester chips we can make polyester filament yarn or polyester simple fiber we can we can make it so you see it here how important is naphtha from naphtha you generate parazaline from parazaline number of components that is basically pta we generate pta you know how poor pa parazaline is being produced so parazaline is basically produced by catalytic reforming of petroleum naphtha so we do reforming of petroleum naphtha now you see it here uh, you see it here so if you see it here polyester filament yarn then we get polyester simple yarn so spun yarn basically be generated by using wool or viscose silk line and these two combine will get spun yarn from that we can make fabrics similarly from polyester filament yarn we can generate texturized twisted dyne yarn so from these two will get fabrics from that apparel this is the final product this apparel basically this is the clothing making of clothes and all in the clothing industry we use so we will get surprised you know 60 percent of clothes that exist in the world are basically derived from the petroleum dried products so now you might have now you must have an idea regarding how big this industry is how vast this industry is and how it is affecting our daily life i'll tell you some other things like uh, some medicines are there that is basically components some benzene components are being used uh, for making up such medicine such as aspirin and all so that we also intake so those are also being generated from that petroleum oil and gas sector only so this is very vast industry so i hope i have given you a glimpse of overall what are the different types of products that be derived from the petroleum so guys that's all for today i hope you understood it well and if you have doubt any doubt you can comment in the comment box i'll definitely try to explain it in a better way or else make a video for your career in publicity on my channel you can watch from there so guys thank you thank you so much so if you want to know more about this industry how different units are there what are different units are there in the refinery and all i'll explain but if you comment in the comment box so guys thank you once again thank you thank you so much